So please, do give whatever you can afford. And on behalf of everyone involved in the fight against Hux, thank you. And cut. Rick, that was fantastic. Thanks so much. Pleasure. Was that what you wanted? Oh, even better than I wanted. Yeah. Seriously, it was just the right note of sincerity. Yeah. Do you want me to do another version? No, I think we've got it. Great. Well, let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Oh, that's so kind. Uh, can I get you a cab? Oh, no, it's OK. I bought my own car. When it's a charity thing, I don't like to add to the cost, so... I'm sure more people like you. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll just do my bit. What goes round comes round. OK. Well, take care. Thanks, Brendan. See you. Oh. Bollocks! It never occurred to me that they would tow someone who's working for charity. Hmm? Just incredible. I left a note in the car window to say what I was doing. They never pay attention to things like that. Well, they should. As far as they're concerned, either you're yeah, part What I don't understand or... is how they can read it and know that I'm making an appeal to raise awareness for this terrible disease and just not care. Like I say, they don't actually read it. It's the not caring that gets to me. They might as well just go to the Paralympics, clamp all the wheelchairs and they've done with it. Not quite the same, is it? Well... Anyway, good luck at the car pound. I'm not going. I'm going to call Brendan. He'll sort it out. I don't have to ring them up, mention the BBC, and they'll crack themselves. And he'll do that for you, will he? Oh, God, yeah. You didn't meet him. Yeah, he really cares about this Hux campaign. That's what I like about Brendan. You don't get that very often in television. Oh, I hope they see it that way at the car pound. I'm off. Mm -hmm. What is it today? Gina Therese has had her chat show idea commissioned. Gina Therese? She's an ice skater. A bigger skater. Oh, whatever. Well, how, how can she host a chat show? Well, we'll just have to see, won't we? They're not calling it breaking the ice, are they? <laughs> no. They're going to call it Gina. Gina. Gina! Why does it bother you so much that she's got a chat show? It, it doesn't. I feel sorry for her. They're just using her. You know, oh, she can ice skate. Let's give her a chat show on primetime television. She'll come on, look like a twat. No one interesting will want to go on the show, and they'll cancel it after one series. Brilliant. Well, anyway, I've got to go and talk costumes with Gina. Gina, ladies and gentlemen, it's Gina. She's not going to skate onto the set, is she? Good idea. I'll mention it. I'm just saying, it's a funny disease, that's all. How can you find a thing like that funny? You have to admit, it is kind of weird. I mean, I never heard of it. Oh, just because you never heard of it? I'm just saying, the way you describe it, it is funny. Hux. It's a funny word. No, it's not. Sorry to tell you, you have Hux. Oh, shucks. I got Hux? Just because it's a new disease. You didn't laugh about AIDS when it first came out. Yes, I did. And so did you. No, I didn't. I remember you telling me about the monkey routine. That wasn't strictly about AIDS. That was all about AIDS. Well, OK, but I had no idea how big AIDS was going to get when I did that. Oh, oh, that's OK, then. You're excused. So, are we going to do some work? Yes. <sighs> you know they're giving Gina Therese around a chat show? Who's that? She's a bloody ice skater. Not even Olympic. It's Commonwealth Games. Silver. Well, that doesn't mean she can't have her own chat show. Yes, it does. She might be intelligent and witty. She's from Romford. Anyway, can we get on with this? <sighs> Furniture Manufacturers Conference. Oh, how do you write gags about that? It's impossible. Uh, I hope you're all sitting comfortably. If not, you've only yourselves to blame. Well, yeah. Sorry if I'm a little wooden tonight. I wanted to make you feel at home. Obviously, that. The guys from Ikea aren't here yet. They're still assembling their table in the car park. Is there a Mr. Alan Key in the house? <laughs> no, no. All right, get some coffee. You ever think about taking up ice skating? Oh, <laughs> ice bag. Yeah, I think Sam's still asleep, so we can come through the kitchen and make you coffee. Uh -huh. and... Hi, Magda. Yes, hello. Are you going sightseeing? 
I have friends coming from home. I want to show some nice things mm. here. Madam Two Swords. <laughs> it's good. I don't know. I've never been. You know, it's waxworks. Of course. What is it? Well, it's, it's famous people made out of wax. Wax? Yeah, you know, candles. Uh, candles you put on a birthday cake, you light them. On a they make people cake. out of candles? Wax, yeah. Why do they do this? Well, you'd have to ask them that. Maybe I will just uh, take it to Greenwich. Gr Greenwich. 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 Where time begins. Yeah, I wouldn't take that to literally. You can stand on both sides of the world. It's really not that exciting. It's just a line they've painted on the ground. An experience so. not to be missed. Yeah, but you see, they've written that, so obviously they're going to make it sound what like it's... What is this? This? Oh, it's uh, a campaign that I'm fronting. Hux. It's a really terrible new disease they've got over in South America. Yeah, it's run by a friend of mine, Brendan Carter. I don't know this disease. Well, that's why we're doing the TV appeal, so people like you know about it. Hux. What does it mean? Well, it's, uh... It's human cellular combustion syndrome, and your blood cells go into a frenzy and get hotter and hotter until you almost literally explode and they burst into flames. No. Yeah. You die? Well, obviously, once that's happened, yeah, you would be dead. No. Yes, I'm afraid so. It's not possible. It is possible, and if you'd seen the photos that I'd seen of people suffering, you wouldn't be saying that. What's the matter with you? It's all right, just... It seems to be getting hotter and hotter. Oh, 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 I hope it's not Hux. Yeah, yeah, you're hilarious. <laughs> I don't suppose you managed to write anything. Wrong again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, woodpeckers, yeah. Swivel stools, though. Oh, yeah. King Arthur's round table. You've gone down that route, have you? Yeah. All very much along the lines of what I had in mind. In mind, but not on paper. Hey, Ben, Sam, how you doing? Yeah, good. Oh, Dad, um, did you know that Ben's running for president of the Students' Union? Really? Way to go, Ben. You gonna win? Hopefully. So who are you up against? Oh, it's just this one guy, Liam. Yeah, but, I mean, he's in a coma. A coma? Yeah, he fell off some scaffolding, so uh, his mates just put his name down for a laugh. Nice touch. Yeah, it was funny. So it's pretty much yours, then? Yeah, well, hopefully. Um, we're going canvassing this afternoon, so. You gonna bother canvassing? Yeah, but we do um, need to get posters and stuff printed up. So, uh, well, what we were thinking is if you could let's have like forty pounds, mm -hmm. fifty pounds. Yeah, yeah, fifty pounds. Do you really need to spend all that money? I mean, the other guy's in a coma. Yeah, well, we're worried that he might get a sympathy vote. Can't afford to be complacent. Not when your opponent plays the coma card. Yeah, so if you could let us have, like, £50, and then we can claim it on union expenses, and then you get it back. That simple. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's not even really a loan, if you think about it. Well, they haven't actually said they won't give the car back. But Brendan did ring them. Well, no. He, he said it was best if I go down myself, explain in person. That was nice of him. Well, in fairness, he is very busy. He's got a disease to campaign against. So when does this Hux thing come out? Pretty soon, actually, yeah. Brendan said he's really pleased with it. Good. Yep, so they've been watching it all day. You must be pleased. Yeah, I am too. Sometimes wish I had more time to dedicate to causes like that. Mm. It's nice to put your talents to good use. Yeah, do something worthwhile. So, how's Gina, the ice skating queen of chat? Well, oh, come on. Give me a chat show to a pole dancing chap from Romford. She's not from Romford. Well, she might as well be. Seriously, who's going to go on that show? Well, as a matter of fact, we were discussing just that and your name came up. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I steered them away, knowing how you feel about her. Good. Thanks. Obviously, you didn't tell her what I said. Obviously not. Because mm. it's, it's better sometimes just to leave those things open. Yeah. They want you on the show? 
Do you sound surprised? <laughs> well, I am, a little. We're launching a new chat show. Who should we have on? Robbie Williams? Tom Cruise? No. Get me Rick Spleen. Well, maybe they think the public guitar are the same old faces. And they want someone who's happy to talk to an ice skater. Uh, I'm not saying I'm gonna do it. I'm just saying Mel is under a lot of pressure to get me on the show, so I might have to do it for Mel. Oh, it's for Mel. That's so nice. Yeah, I'm caught in the middle. It must be hard when you're in demand. Oh. Susie, hey, how are you? Uh, hi. I had my car towed yesterday. I was parked in Lebury Road. The um, thing is, I want to speak to someone about it because I was actually recording a charity appeal at the time, so I should actually get it back for free. It, um, are you all right? It is, isn't it? It's Rick Spleen. Yeah, yeah it's me. Yeah. It's oh, right. my God, I don't believe it. Yeah, well, it is me. Oh, I've got your DVD and everything. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> What's that bit? It's my favourite bit. Uh, why do mobile phones have all them extra functions? Your mobile phone routine. I, I don't want a television on my mobile phone. Is this the news or a phone call from Trevor McDonald? <laughs> No, it's Trevor McDonald. No, it's Nicholas Witchell. No, it's Trevor McDonald. I've watched that DVD 20 times. OK, Trevor McDonald. So, anyway, it's a blue VW so why Golf. why that show of yours? They just stopped it after three episodes. No, uh, four. Uh, no, I think the film was just a bit Cos I already got axed, and I'm thinking, why? Cos... I thought some of it was quite good. No, it wasn't, it wasn't axed. It was partly my decision. Those reviews! Too. So unfair. Painfully unfunny. Woefully, actually. You. Painfully unfunny. Woefully unfunny. That must really, really get to you. You just read them and forget about them. <laughs> so, uh, look, uh, who, who do I speak to about... Some hundred? of these new comedians coming through now, they're all rubbish. I wouldn't know. I never watched them. The so... only one I rate is that Johnny Kendall. No, he's not that good. <laughs> he cracks me up. Very derivative. I, I mean, some of his stuff is really, really funny. Yeah, well, it <laughs> would be, wouldn't it? Because he's got a whole team of writers, so... What? It's written for him? Oh, yeah. All of these new boys, they have full-time writers. I thought he was a genuinely funny bloke. I know, but, uh, sadly, he isn't. You don't have a right idea. Me? God, no. <laughs> so, look, who, who do I speak to about not having to pay? I mean, not writing your own jokes. <laughs> That's pathetic, isn't it? It, it is a bit. Look, as I say, I was doing this right. charity appeal. So, yeah. they're gonna give you a car back or they're gonna do you a favour and crush it? Oh, hello. You know this nutter, do you? Yeah. Are you a comedian too? Me? No, no, no. I just He's just my driver. Me. That's what he does. Yeah, I'm his driver. It drives me to gigs and things. I... And away from them really fast. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you should use that. <laughs> deny having a writer. Because you were trying to impress him. I didn't need to impress him. I'm his favourite comedian. I'm like a hero to him. He works in a car pound and you're his hero. I think this guy has aspirational issues. Morning. Oh, you look a bit vexed today, if you don't mind me saying so. No, it's just I have my car towed. Oh, don't start me on traffic wardens. Yeah, it's the police who tow, actually. Incompetent idiots. They give out tickets like confetti. Would that it was so, but no, no. The single yellow line outside my house appears to be there just for fun. Oh, no, no, don't worry. You park where you like. After all, you're dropping your disabled son off at the nursery, so what does it matter that you're partially blocking my driveway, which, if I had a car, would be a considerable nuisance? Right. Still, I think there are circumstances where they should show discretion. Well, we just have to agree to differ. Well, they wouldn't tow an ambulance when it's on call, and this was very similar. I don't suppose it was. No, I was in town. Rick! No, I was in town making a programme for a very good cause. Yeah, tell Michael about Huck's disease. Oh, he doesn't want to hear about that. Huck's disease? What's that? It's human cellular combustion syndrome. It's an airborne virus in South America. If you catch it, you can get so hot that you actually burst into flames. That's terrible. Burst into flames? Yes. What do you have to bring up Hux for? I'm trying to raise awareness. It's a terrible disease. Yeah. You didn't see the pictures. I did. What's this? It's a donation for the Hux disease. <sighs> right. I'll make sure they get it. Thank you. No, thank you. Well done. <sighs> Come on, let's get on with these furniture gags. Hey, I'm just the driver. I'm going to do the show. Are you 
sure? Yeah. Why not? Because if I were your agent... You're not my agent. If I were your agent, I'd suggest you let Gina get a couple of shows under her belt. Yeah. No, I've thought about it. I'm going to do it. It's the first show of the series. There's a danger they might review it. So they need a good guest. <laughs> I mean, she is a nice skater. A uh, figure skater. OK. OK. I'll let them know you're up for it. Good luck with the car. Yeah, I'm going to call Brendan. Get him to send some of those photos over. I'm going to show them what Hux does to people. I'm going to give them a hard time. Why not just give them a check and get your car back? <laughs> That's it. Just throw money at the problem. It's not a problem. It's a fine. And you have to pay it. Just pay it. <sighs> yeah, Brendan. Brendan Carter. Yeah, he runs the Hux campaign. Is he? OK. We're, can you tell him that Rick called? Yeah, Rick explained. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Where's Sedlos Wells? Oh, the ballet. That's oh, in London. Isn't it to Tunbridge Wells? No, that's a town in Kent. So they don't have ballet in Tunbridge Wells? No. Well, yeah, maybe, sometimes. Oh, why do you want to know all this? My friend wants to go to ballet, but it's very expensive, I think. Well, there's a lot of work goes into in it. In my country, everyone can afford ballet. It's very yeah. cheap. Then again, you have tractors for family cars, so... So, we go to Greenwich. Greenwich. Then Settlers Wales. Then Final Day London Zoo. Oh, London Zoo, nice. You ever been to London Zoo, Ben? Uh, yeah, a couple of times. It's not really my sort of thing, though. You know, just animals sitting around. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to see that? So, how's the student union thing going? Uh, good, yeah. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, what, uh, what did you think? Yeah. What? The, uh, the Hux disease thing. Oh, it's gone out, is it? No, it was hilarious, yeah. No, Ben, it's not hilarious. It's a bit sick. Oh, mm. come on, Dad, it was pretty funny, though. <laughs> well, how can people dying of a terrible disease it's pretty funny? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, when did he realise it was a wind-up? <laughs> It's not a wind-up. It's a terrible disease. Spike E. Oh, come on. Right. You must have guessed it. No, you didn't have a clue, no. It's not a wind-up. Right. Look, See people you, don't just explode. I said this was a joke. Come on, Rick. Watch it. No. Don't need to. Somebody doing a good deed for humanity's had the piss taken out of him. Hysterical. Let's all move on. I have already. This really got to you, hasn't it? No. No. In fact, you know what my reaction was when I heard it was a setup? I was relieved. I thought, thank God, Huck's disease doesn't exist, therefore, thousands of people in South America aren't going to explode. Yes. That was your first thought? Yes. Well, I'm in the presence of a spiritual giant. Yep. I mean, how come you recorded it anyway? I didn't. Susie did. She knows I work with you. Who is this Susie you keep going on about? Eh, she's an old friend. Well, you never mentioned her before. She's been away. She took a holiday. Bloody long holiday. Yeah, she went traveling. She went all over South America. Luckily, she didn't. Don't. Just don't. I think you should watch it. These things are never as bad as you think they're going to be. Have you heard of this Brendan Carter? His real name is Vince Davids. He has a show on Channel 4. What show? Just a show. What show? What's it called? Look at this idiot. <laughs> Let me get a biscuit. You don't have to show it to me. I want you to see it. Okay. I want everyone to see it. I want everyone to know what he's done. Right. You know what he's done, don't you? He's put the cause of charity back by ten years in this country. Next time a celebrity is asked to do an appeal, he'll say, Oh, is this a real disease or one of Vince's wind-ups? No, thanks. Don't think I'll bother. Maybe not End that result, many... more dead people. Well done, Vince. Good day's work. Mm. So, shall we? I mean, how can he sleep at night? Mr. Sincere Bloody... I knew there was something odd about him. Hello, I'm Brendan Carter. No, you're not. You're a pathetic...
pathetic little parasite feeding off the goodwill of others. Let's just watch it, shall we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was actually funny. If it was really funny, then fair play, but... Ever heard of Huck's disease? <laughs> of course you haven't, cos I made it up. But it didn't look like that when I arrived. Rick Spleen from coming into the studio to record a charity appeal. I mean, who's watching this rubbish anyway? It sets up a, a chain reaction within the molecular structure oh. of the cells. I didn't know cells could do that. That's terrible. Yeah. So this, this was before. We were just chatting. I didn't even know they were filming this I mean, bit. Sometimes it, it doesn't spread all over, so maybe just your arm blows up. Oh. Oh, they're the lucky ones. Uh, I saw one man. Both arms had just literally exploded. So all we had left were, were two smouldering armpits. And I showed it. That, that's not the photo they showed me. That is not the photo they showed me. They showed me a real photograph of someone with his arms well, on fire. To begin with, you could only catch it from fish uh, over the canvas and obviously not affected. Being in water. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's not real laughter. Now it's time for Rick to put on his caring face. Step up Cambridge twice. Hi. I'm Rick Spleen, but I'm afraid I'm not going to make you laugh. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to get so hot that you actually Pathetic. burst into flames? That's what's happening to some people in parts of South America as the result of a terrible new disease. It's known as human cellular... Oh, really? Are you watching it? ...or hucks. Locals refer to it as ndeta anana, <laughs> meaning feeling hot, 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 <laughs> feeling hot. Hot, 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 hot. Obviously, it's funny when you put music on top and silly pictures, then. It's classic. <laughs> Just a little message to say, seen the show and uh, great show all in all. Yeah, I knew you were up to something when I saw the old green screen, that chestnut. But uh, no, I had a lot of compliments about my performance on the show and uh, all my family loved it. And uh, so all in all came out of it pretty well. So thanks for inviting me on. Glad I uh, did it and uh, hopefully I'll return the compliments someday. Uh, anyway, just to say, watch out for me on the new Gina Therese show, mainstream show that I'll be doing. So I'll be dishing the dirt on you for a change. A few anecdotes jokes and jokes at your expense. Hope you don't mind. It'll be all good fun. And uh, good on you, mate. Cheers. Oh, I see. So you were in on the joke? Of course. I'm a comedian. That's what I do. Oh, that's what you do. And all that stuff about, Marty, you didn't see the pictures. I did. You made that up. Yes. I was winding you up. Rick, you were not in on the joke. I was. Menus for you? Um, can I just say that what they did to you on that program is unforgivable? Making you look stupid like well, that. Well, I... No. Tricking people where charity's concerned is shameful and beneath contempt. I only hope it hasn't scarred you too much. Thanks. But Rick was in on the joke. No, I really appreciate that. He was just telling me. Sorry? Well, no, I wasn't. I'm not sure I understand. The thing is, I... You were in on the joke? Well, I sort of was and I wasn't. I... How does that work? Good question. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone comes out of this with any credit. Oh, um, that's your 20 pounds back. Um, yeah, sorry about all this. No, 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 you keep it. 
Well, I'll give it to a charity. A, a real one. Yeah, yeah, we're old mates. I've known Brendan for years. Vince. Vince for years. And we, we were talking about what would be a funny sketch. And uh, you know, I came up with this Hux thing. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how it happened. Huh. Yeah, well, you know, it says on his website. He's got a website, has he? Yeah, it crashed yesterday. I think too many people were looking at your clip. Would you guys have that website address? Yeah, it's www. Uh, look at this. Oh, yeah. and then never mind about the website. So how did the election go? Did you beat the guy in the coma? The election? Yeah, good, good. Um, I won. Yeah, you got like nearly sixty percent of the mm. vote. Congratulations, Mr. President. Cheers. Yeah, well, um, Ben's resigned actually. Yeah. Already? Yeah. As soon as I won, they just started asking me to do all this stuff. You yeah, know. Go to this meeting, from this blow. Read this. Yeah. I just thought, no, it's, it's not for me. Nah. That's walked. Well done. Your first decision. And the money from the posters? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, that should be no problem, getting that. Should be no problem. Well, it's just got to be approved by the president. There is no president. No, there is. Yeah, um, it automatically goes to the runner-up. The guy in the coma? Liam, yeah. So Liam will decide about my money when he comes out of his coma? Pretty much, yeah. going to do it. Yes, why not? I don't want to let Gina down. You know she's going to want to bring up the whole Hux thing. She's going to. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to point out that I'm perfectly able to take a joke at my own expense, but you have to consider the damage it does to charity and, and the relationship I don't between... I it's going to be that kind of show. Well, I'm going to make it that kind of show. She's not going to be doing in-depth interviews. She's an ice skater. Exactly. And I'm a comedian, so I'll call the shots. I want everyone to know just how unfunny it is to play childish jokes like that on people. So I go now. And tomorrow, I take friend to see beautiful English village like you recommend. Oh, what village is that? Oh, doesn't matter. Have a nice time. He has written it down for me. Oh, dear. Getwick Village. It is actually quite nice now. <laughs>